for those of you who are not familiar with him, uh, he hosts a, a program on uh, Rogers out in uh, Durham on a daily basis at noon. And uh, in addition to that, uh, uh, travels far and wide in search of great food with guests. And uh, he will be flying to uh, Tuscany and Rome for a food and wine adventure in May of uh, next year. And uh, he is with us in studio. Good to see you. How you doing, Ted? I'm well, and I want to tell you as well, Christian was very kind to uh, to donate uh, dinner for six at my golf tournament, which uh, my friend uh, Kevin did on it, and we were over to his house on uh, Saturday of last week. That was great food. <laughs> we had a great time. That oh, was terrific. That was great food. I mean, I think if you had left after you made the appetizers, they would have been would have been happy with that. That was that's how good it was. <laughs> Feed a chef's ego, and he or she will feed you. Yeah, well, that was, it was, uh, we had a lot, a lot of fun, too. Oh, we did. We did, yeah. yeah. You what know. was that gesture? Some people had more fun than others, I believe. Well, you know, it's, par it's part of the experience and the culture. <laughs> yeah. Now, this, this, uh, uh, th this trip of yours, yeah. this looks, wow, what a, what a, what a, what a great uh, adventure this must be. Did you not just do this trip? Yes. Ted, the same I, one. Yeah, I did this last May. And, uh, yeah, the, our friends at Transat Holiday set it up with me, and it, what an honor. I mean, going to Italy and working and then working with food, it was life-changing because I learned so much about the culture, the food, and it actually absolutely changed the way I approach cuisine. Mm -hmm. Totally. Because it's just such a, a, a different mindset. It's, it's the simplicity. You know, uh, the thing I learned the most about the Italian culture and food, w which is incredible, is it sounds kind of crazy to say this, but it's true. Food is secondary to the people around the table. The food elevates to a level that's so amazing because of, like, like last weekend when we were together. The talk, the people, and then, you know, the food generally is amazing anyway. It's incredible. Yeah, and, and so th th that's what it is. It's, just, it's, it's gather your friends and your family together and then make sure that the food is good, but you're there for your friends and family is what the point is, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, when you're in different regions in Tuscany, you know, Siena, Lucca, uh, San Giamano, uh, these places, I mean, uh, Ted, I had gelato three times a day for eight days. <laughs> you know, and you, you know, probably not the smartest thing to do, but I didn't care. And at one point I was in San Giamano, which is very famous for their gelato. And I was with the, the, the great tour guide out of uh, Romeno who was working with us. And he said, uh, okay, so you're going to have some? I was like, yeah. So I had a combination of lemon vernaccia, which is like a, a dessert wine. And then gorgonzola cheese. And they, they looked at me at the counter and went, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, but I still have it. Out of the country. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It was, maybe it was offensive, I don't know, but, you know, it was great. Like, every, every experience, every taste, every, you know, it was, my joke about Tuscany was, show me something ugly. <laughs> There was nothing. Yeah. There was absolutely nothing ugly. It was amazing. So this is, this is like a 10-day a and 8-night trip. Yes. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, last year, uh, it, it was just incredible. The, the experience we had with, with people from all over Canada, actually, because this trip is available across Canada through travel agencies. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to ask for this Tuscany food and wine tour. It, it was meeting these people, and everybody was sharing the experience of the food, the wine, the fun, and most importantly, the culture. Man, the people in Italy are just the most amazing people. Uh, fun, l just love life. Love people, love talking, love food, adventure, cars, fashion. Man, it's and, amazing. And why, why Tuscany? Like, what, what, is, uh, what, what would you find in Tuscany that you wouldn't find in, in other parts of, of Italy? Or what is it that, 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 that drew you to Tuscany? Well, the, the thing was, Tuscany has such a broad, huge, massive history in mm -hmm. food. And it's funny because here over in, in Canada, in, in our Western culture, we're babies. We're babies with food. But the Tuscans have been doing this for 1,200 years. I was on a agriturismo, which is a farm, and they had olive oil and wine, uh, orchards and everything. And the, the family's like, oh, this is our house. Uh, it's from 1,200. <laughs> you know? And it's like, and then that, that's not even the oldest. You know, so this is the thing. They, their family had been on that farm for that period of time, that many generations. Wow. So it, it's, it, it's, you, you can't beat that. And it's really cool too, because each region has so much history, you know. So what, what did you learn there, Christian? Tell us what you learned and show us what you learned. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's start with something fun. Of course, <coughs> there's something classic that everyone uh, has up through Italy, and that's the Caprese Insalata. But I've changed it up, too, because this is... Uh, 
as I, I've told you, my wife is an accordion, accordionist, concert accordionist. So a, a few years ago, our, our good friend of ours, Joe Massarolo, he's an accordionist, of course. So we, we designed this thing called the, uh, it's the Caprese Insulata, but we call it the Accordion Insulata. It's buffalo mozzarella. It's okay, you got to imagine there's, there's, a, a, there's a tomato yes. with what, three slices in it. That's right. But, but the slices don't come apart. No, all... like an accordion. So it, it breaks exactly. apart. It's cut down about 75%. It's seasoned inside with some great salt and pepper. Uh, buffalo mozzarella, of course. Yeah. And then uh, fresh basil. And a, and a little bit of olive oil. Okay, five liters. And, and, uh, <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it's just phenomenal because, it, you know, and, of course, in season... And if you're in Tuscany, the, the tomatoes are phenomenal. And, of right. course, bring that same sort of attitude to Canada with our great produce. You can't mm, lose. Mm, phenomenal. Mm, phenomenal. Mm. Just fun. Fun. And that's the, the key. The great thing that I've learned about food from Italian cuisine is simplicity. People look at simple as a bad word. No way. It's one of the most beautiful words in food because it's, uh, it's just keeping it straightforward. And the let the ingredients speak for themselves. Not too many. And that's what makes it great. So what do you think? It, I think this is great. Okay, good, good. Well, we've got some more stuff for you too. So, so save no, some. So it's more. like a balsamic uh, thing. On yeah, there. balsamic reduction on there as well. Yeah. You know, and and that's the thing too. Oh man, when I was in Luca, uh, the balsamic uh, reductions there, unbelievable. And I, people are going to say from different regions, "What are you talking about? What about this region? They're all amazing. They all have something that's that's phenomenal. Truffle oils, olive oils. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's it's just unbelievable. All right. Yeah. We're going to take a break and we're going to come back and... Uh, we're going to eat some more? Yeah, well, because Bill, we don't give Bill something. you get you got to feed the musicians, right? <laughs> That's what I... Did you see the sign out there? <laughs> feed the musicians, please. I know, I've got one at home. <laughs> there you go. Chef Christian Pritchard, uh, our guest in the studio. We're back with more in a moment. It's 12.15 to do Stock 10 10. Let's check time saver traffic right now. Well, I'll take a look at the Gardner Express. Mm. It's, 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 it's,